During a visit to Japan, U.S. Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, Mark Miley, on July 15th, said that the U.S. needs to expedite weapons delivery to Taiwan. According to Reuters, Miley said, the speed of which we, the United States, or other countries assist Taiwan in improving their defensive capabilities, I think that probably needs to be accelerated in the years to come. He added, I think it's important that Taiwan's military and their defensive capabilities be improved. Since last year, Taiwan had complained about the U.S.'s slow delivery of weapon packages that the island ordered. Taiwan said its defense spending this year will focus on preparing weapons and equipment for dealing with the total blockade of the Chinese Communist Party, CCP's military. The U.S. is Taiwan's leading arms supplier. Beijing has repeatedly asked the U.S. to stop selling arms to the island, which the force ruling China considers part of its territory. Since Russia invaded Ukraine, the fear of the CCP's military attacking Taiwan has become more significant. So Taiwan has been more aggressive in preparing for the worst-case scenario. Taipei has repeatedly warned of the enormous consequences the world would face once the CCP dominates Taiwan. In addition, Taiwan has held simulation exercises for situations when attacked. Reports say that 2027 is the time the CCP most likely launch an attack on Taiwan in the year Xi Jinping ends his third term. In a related document, Taiwan News reported that the U.S. House of Representatives on July 14th passed a defensive spending bill, including a proposal to strengthen military coordination between the U.S. and Taiwan and address the issue of delays in the supply of weapons to the island.